Hello, howdy and hi, I'm the Awesome Fossum. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out a game that I donated on Kickstarter to over 10 years ago. It's known as Survive the Nights. It's a survival game that is so incredibly unique in comparison to every other survival game out there. This came out around the time that Daisy Standalone was still not played that often by many people and everybody still used to play Arma 2 Daisy mod, so this was like a huge deal. Frankie on PC and 1080p actually covered this game and got me so hyped for it, just for what you can do individually. I'll link his video down below so you can see all like the mechanics, like the trailers, putting stuff on the trailers, locking up the houses and stuff. It, it's amazing. It, honestly, it's incredible. If you enjoy what you see in today's video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below what you think of this game and consider subscribing to the channel. Enjoy today's video. Alrighty, okay, here we go. So I've decided to play this for a little while. Um, kind of hard to put into words what I've all, what I, all of it. <laughs> okay. So I played this for a little while, um, just to essentially get the gist of it for the most part. Let's see here. So I went ahead and built up a little, uh, well, took over a house, boarded up the downstairs windows, cleared out all the zombies. Uh, can we get rid of that music? Uh, okay. Maybe the music's a little nice, though. Well, that's weird. Two hours later. And I don't know what the hell that bug was, honestly. But anyways, so yeah, you can do a lot of stuff. This, the, the game, this specifically, like, let's say I want to go find a trailer. I have a generator I need to go get, but I could put, I could literally hitch a trailer to this truck or a Jeep or anything and put stuff in it. Oh my god. Dude. Holy shit. Oh. You scared the fucking shit out of me. Alrighty. Well, after a few technical difficulties, we finally got the issue resolved. Got the drivers updated onto the game studio uh, instead of studio drivers to game drivers, and now we're actually getting over 60 frames per second video footage raw. So that's amazing. I fixed my mic situation. Awesome sauce. Um, before we get started here, I just want to let everybody know that there's a there's, I'm expecting a horde tonight, so in order to be ready for this, I have got to go ahead and fortify my place. I've already done that. Uh, I've added all these boards here, some spike barricades, boarded up the windows, boarded up the doors. It's very cool because you can do this individually. Like, you can actually place them wherever, and then you, if you get stuff, you can actually lock the doors and all that good stuff. So I don't have any power, but once I do get power, I could be able to flick a light switch and turn on these room's lights, and that goes for, like, everywhere. This is a very, very good game. I kickstart, I backed this on Kickstarter uh, back in, like, when I was, like, 14 years old. Uh, I'm in my 20s now, so it's been quite a while. I remember uh, it was back when Frankie on PC and 1080p was still making vid banger videos back to back. I mean, hell, dude. Um, he even he made a video on this game, uh, which is fucking awesome. 
If you, I, I'll actually play a little snippet of it and give him a little, a link to that video because he really goes into detail on like what can be done in this game, which is like actually insane and it works in progress. So like I've put, I placed all of these things here individually. Like uh, here, let's just take some of this stuff. I could put it in the bed of my truck and then take off without having to worry about this like flying everywhere because it's there. Also, there's a glove compartment. I put that light bar on so I could actually take that off. I could literally put it onto a vehicle and then I can use it. Uh, yeah, and I built a shelf and I individually placed all this stuff down. Got a generator going, so I just need to get a uh, pull start wire thing. That way I can actually power the house. Um, then I can use the electricity and use the lights and stuff. I already got the breaker panel all put together. Here's a garage door. This was just a house that I uh, took over. Cleared it out of the zombies and then just boarded it up. Called it my own. Let's see. Yep, so that's good. That's on. I am expecting a horde tonight, though, so this shall get interesting. All right, let's go to... Just to show how it works in practice. Okay, I got a jerry can here. I can literally... Plop. Plop. There. It's in there. Isn't that fucking awesome? I got a glove box in there. I could lock the doors. Sweet. I'm going to want to make... A few. Okay. I'm gonna make. Oh shit. Okay, so the horde. I've never had a horde. The horde is where? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so I, I've never. I haven't played this game more than. I think I'm on. Nine hours. I have it set to like every seven days that there's a horde. I probably shouldn't have done that now in retrospect. All right, all right, all right. We were back. I decided to take the day off yesterday after it got late last night. I decided to go to bed. What do we want to go do today? I wonder. I finally fixed my computer. Apparently, you have to change. So I didn't know this. And apparently, a lot of people don't know this. But if you build your own computer and you have, a, you know, your own RAM and all that. Uh, you actually have to go through your BIOS and uh, change the computer to run at the frequency that uh, your RAM is running at, because it defaults to like 2133 or whatever, which is lower than what my RAM is rated for, which is 3200. Uh, and that's 128 gigabytes of that. So <laughs> I've been wondering why I have such a high-end computer, but it, yeah, it doesn't run games at like 60 frames a second hardly ever. I've been struggling with that. So that, I think I have actually fixed it. Now I can play Ultra. We need to go. Let's go to the hardware store, shall we? It's a camper. Oh my god. A camper. Hold on. We might be able to just take the camper. I can't believe there's a camper over there. That's fucking amazing. Yeah. 
Hell yeah, dude. Just a camper spawned here, dude. Oh, it's got everything too? Oh, you gotta be fucking with me. Oh, it's got fucking jack shit in here, though. What the hell? This is a different kind of camper. Compared to the other one I saw the other day. The other one had like a bed, a stove, all that stuff. There's the hardware store. Yeah, it's up this way. where I based up before when I first started. Truck right there.
shit. Dude, they don't fucking have dog water here, man. Pool start, got it. I got that fucking pool start. Let's fucking go. I take that fan belt too. Okay. Let's grab some gas. Let's get out. Damn, this thing's a piece of junk. So. Bad driver, man. Somehow I passed it up. power. Okay, maybe I have to put it outside. Okay, so I have to put it out next to the uh, the electric meter. Now I have now I have power. Oh my god. That's amazing. So I can use the electric stovetop now and the refrigerator uh to put all my stuff and things in here. Turn the kitchen lights on. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Oh, let's see. Where do we want to go? I kind of want to see what's at the airport, to be honest. All right, let's go there. Da, 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 da. Oh, Jeep spawned there. Hmm. Okay. So apparently the only items that stay in your 
stay in your, uh, like, the cars and stuff for the ones that, if they're saved to your character, which I don't really know how to do that. I know this truck is, because uh, I've been able to lock it and stuff, but I have no idea about the other stuff. Let's find this road. Should be a road that goes off to the right. I haven't really explored this map all that much, to be completely fair. Okay, it's a pretty game. It looks a little outdated, but that's the joy of it. It's an art. I'll just keep going. There's another truck. Oh, almost missed the road. this right here. Just a car lot over there, okay. It's a little weird that I haven't seen zombies out in the wild, just out and they're in houses so far. It might be a setting, I don't know, unless if I just haven't explored the map enough for that to happen. No idea. Got no idea. Very cool. Do, 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 do. Get there eventually. Make a pick pit stop right here, shall we? The fuck is this? This is cool. It's like a little, uh, oh, that's cool as hell. So players can build stuff based out of this. That's honestly cool as fuck. I like how they have this, like little shipping containers and stuff. You can actually build a little fortress out around. Very cool. All right, well, let's continue on our journey to the airport. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that might be a new area and an update. I know they just had a huge update about a month ago that added a military base and different zombie and points of interest and stuff like that. So, like military zombies and police zombies, they're a little bit buffer. They got huge buffs, a lot stronger, in other words. Okay, there's a lot of, a lot of zombies in those houses. I will say the noises are a lot scarier. They have some horrifying noises. Alrighty, and here we go as we approach this... ...airfield.
a lot of zombies. A lot of zombies, holy shit.
That's a lot of zombies. Is that a, can you fly in this game? Well, I survived. Am I, am I leveled up yet, though? No. Nope. Mm, I don't know, man. The next horde's tomorrow. Shit. Okay, well, I'm going to head back to base and fortify that. So this is what I've got set up so far. It is 6 in the evening. Tonight, the horde is going to arrive. As you see, I got some uh, spike traps around, boarded up my windows, some on the outside, but mainly on the inside. Locked this door up, boarded it up, boarded all this up, but... Put this here, I don't know if that barbed wire is going to do anything. It probably will, if it's just sitting there, because it'll hurt you if I run into it. Hurt me if I run into it. Um, kind of got the spikes all over the entry points for the zombies. And let's see, the extension cord's good. I have locks on my garage door and this one as well. i got two on here, two on here. But just to be sure, so that it can't break in... I'll have like a little entry point. Uh, let's see, let's place this back. Ta -da! Now we wait, it is 7 p.m. And once they start really coming in, I'll, uh, I'll be moving this forward. So where that spike, the spikes in the front of that will uh, surely get in their way, so. Oh, dude, that's nice. That is fucking nice. 90 rounds here. 29. 97. So, yep. I'm gonna wait until... The horde arrives. Alright. Where are the zombies at? Ooh! The horde has arrived. Oh my. Where are they at? Are they just slow as fuck?
fuck are they at? Oh, are they here? They're here finally? It's just one zombie. There's just one zombie? Damn, that was it. Maybe it's because it's my first actual horde. They're just easy. That's like three zombies, dude. One, two, yeah, three. So the difficulty goes up the longer you go on. Okay, well, that's cool. Very good to know. Cool. Well, I survived my first night. Well, we're on like what? Day 12? <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, I like this game. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Uh, once you get everything up and running, which could take hours on end, um, it seems pretty bare minimum for the most part, but then again, you know, it's still early access. It's come a long way since uh, it launched when it first launched, uh, and I'm happy to see where, how far it's actually come, so, yeah, it's, that's pretty cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.